Hello everybody, how you doing? This is Mr. Dallas. Uh, in this video I'm going to talk about medians. First of all, what is a median? A median is a line segment that connects the vertex of a triangle to the midpoint of the opposite side. And so, first of all, vertex. What is a vertex? Uh, every triangle has three vertices. Uh, we have a vertex A, a vertex B, and a vertex C. A vertex is where two sides of a triangle intersect. And so we have vertex A, vertex B, and vertex C. So a line segment that connects the vertex of a triangle to the midpoint of the opposite side. Now I'm going to say D is the midpoint of, of side or segment AC. And so if I were to take uh, the midpoint of this side and find the opposite vertex, this gets me a median. Again, a median is a line segment that connects the vertex of a triangle to the midpoint of the opposite side. Uh, now, now keep in mind here, uh, I could have also said, let's start with vertex B here and draw a line segment to the midpoint of the opposite side. And again, I'd still get the median. Now it's important here. What does a midpoint do uh, to a segment? It chops it in half. It bisects it. So in this case, I know that segment AD is congruent to segment DC. That's very important on the problems that we're going to solve. And so let's say the entire segment AC was equal to, I don't know, 10 inches. Well, if I chop that in half, then I know that each segment is worth uh, 5 inches. So this segment would be equal to 5 inches, and DC would be equal to 5 inches. And so keep that in mind. A median uh, has a midpoint on one side, and that's going to be useful. And so since we have three vertices on a triangle, or we're going to have three midpoints uh, in a triangle, we're going to have three medians on every single triangle. And so in this problem here, uh, we've already talked about segment. Oops, let me change this to a color that actually shows up. I hit the wrong color. If I, we already talked about uh, the median here, BD. So we know that BD is a median in this case. Now, that's a midpoint of one side and one of the vertices. Well, what if I were to choose vertex A, and I drew a segment to the midpoint of side BC, F would be the midpoint in this case. And so we also have AF is a median. And then lastly here, uh, if I were to look at the vertex C, and I found the midpoint of the opposite side to that, and in this case, it's going to be the midpoint of, of side BA or segment BA. Uh, e is going to be the midpoint here. And so we would have a third median in this case that's going to be uh, segment CE. All three of these are medians. And so every single triangle is always going to have three medians. And again, medians chop uh, opposite sides in half. So let's say uh, this guy was 7. If BE was 7, then EA would also be 7. Or if uh, BF was, I don't know, 10, uh, 10 inches, 10 centimeters, then FC would also be 10 inches or 10 centimeters. Uh, and then on the last problem here, I think we had uh, 5 inches, and we had like 5 inches here. And so again, a median uh, chops sides in half. And so this is very useful for problems we're going to do in the future. Now one thing before I jump into example problems, uh, wherever these medians intersect, these three medians are intersecting in the same location. That's going to happen every single time. Uh, this, is, this has a special name called a centroid. And so that's what this guy right here says. Where the medians intersect is called the centroid. I'm going to have a separate video on centroids. And so for the time being, I just want to introduce the concept to you. Uh, wherever the medians intersect, uh, it's always called the centroid. And so let's do a couple example problems. Uh, it says find x if BD, or segment BD, is a median of triangle ABC. And I inadvertently kind of solved the same kind of problem on the last on the last slide. So we have a median right here. So this segment uh, BD is a median. And so what does a median do? Well, it on one point of the median on, on the opposite of the vertex, we end up having a midpoint. And so D is a midpoint on this problem. And so we know this segment AD is congruent to segment uh, DC. And so since DC is seven, X is also going to equal seven. And so that's, that's it. We solve for x. So we know x is 7 in this case. Pretty simple, I hope. Let's do one more problem uh, to solidify this. It's going to be a little bit more challenging. Uh, it says find x if uh, segment gk is a median of triangle gfh. And fk is, oh, this should probably say segment fk, is equal to 5x minus 1. And segment uh, kh is equal to a 3x plus 11. Sorry for the mistake here. I didn't, I didn't put that on there when I should have. And so let's look through this again. There's lots of information here. Find x if gk is a median. So we know this segment here, gk, is a median. So what does that do? Well, a median 
uh, on one side of the median is a midpoint, and so K is a midpoint. So we know that FK, segment FK, is congruent to segment uh, KH because that's what midpoints do. They chop segments in half. And so they gave us some more information. We know that segment FK is equal to a 5X minus 1. So I'm going to put a 5X minus 1 here. We also know that uh, segment uh, KH is equal to a 3X plus 11. And my goal is to eventually find X. Well, how can I do that? Well, I know that segment FK is equal to or congruent to segment uh, KH. And so I can just set these segments equal to each other to find X. This is as hard as I'm going to make these problems for my students. And so this is likely going to be something that you're going to see given from your, one, of your, one of your teachers. And so let me solve for x, subtract 3x from both sides. And I end up with a 2x minus 1 equals 11. Let me add 1 to both sides. And if I keep going here, 2x is equal to 12. Well, divide by 2, and I get x is equal to 6. And so that's it. We know x is equal to 6. And if you're not quite sure if this is right, we can always double check by plugging in 6 into x. What is 5 times 6? That's 30. 30 minus 1 gets me 29. And again, let's plug in 6 here. 3 times 6 is 18. 18 plus 11 is also 29. And so since these two guys are equal to each other, I know 6 has to be the answer. Anyways, I hope this helps you understand what medians are. And I hope you have a good day. Bye-bye.